This looks much better than the last one. At least in terms of color, there is more brightness and it's getting brighter as we speak. Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Today we're gonna to be doing a DIY project. I'm going to be taking this Epson 1060 Cinema, home cinema, and I'm gonna be replacing the bulb. And I'm gonna do it while it's still mounted on the ceiling. It took a long time for me to get this perfectly calibrated and I don't really wanna mess it up. So I'm gonna to try to take this bulb out and replace it with this one right here that I bought on Amazon. It's not from Epson, but it should work. It said it was compatible. So today we're gonna to be doing this DIY and let's pray to God that this is an easy job because I really wanna see a before and after and see how much of a difference it makes. You know, there's that old adage, it ain't broken, don't fix it. I'm going against that today because I wanna get this to be a little bit brighter before people complain. So without further ado, let's get at it and start by taking off this panel. So here's a look at the old bulb, man. This thing, I didn't even have it on for very long, but it is super, super hot. Uh, it looks to be in pretty good condition, all things considered. I'm gonna keep this, just in case this other one doesn't work or if I have any kind of issues, I'm gonna keep this. See if I have to reinstall it, but I know it's not very bright. Um, that said, it worked. So, now let's go ahead and open up the box and see how the other one looks like, especially compared to this before I do the installation. Here's the new bulb right here. I got this from Amazon and it's a replacement bulb. When I did the research, it was compatible with the Epson 1060 home cinema. So, okay, so it looks very similar got that same kind of hold that you usually hold it right over here. Uh, what I'll do is just one second, I'm gonna grab the other one. So here we go. Um, how does this sit? Looks like that. Now, is it exactly the same? No, I can just tell from the top here, it looks like a little bit different. Or maybe that's just dust. Actually, it does look pretty freaking similar. <laughs> what am I saying? These look pretty goddamn identical. You can see the, the old one's got a little bit of a color disorientation to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this in one. This could be like the easiest DIY, as long as everything goes nice and smoothly. Hopefully this will be nice and bright. But because things could go wrong, I wanted to make sure I had an empty day, just in case, I needed to do some troubleshooting. So let's go ahead and put this one in and see what happens. All right, folks, the moment of truth is about to happen. I've installed the new bulb in the Epson 1060 home cinema. While it was still mounted on the ceiling, I should add. So now I'm gonna turn it on and see what the image, hopefully it comes up, and then I'll have to adjust the uh, projector to make sure that everything fits. So I'm gonna do this on camera. Let's see what happens. And I'll put the phone down to uh, make the adjustments while you see how it, for the first time. Oh, it's getting brighter. Is, why am I getting that lamp replacement? I wonder if I can reset that somehow in the settings. I think you can. But that image, I can tell you, I can confirm, <clears throat> this looks much better than the last one. At least in terms of color, there is more brightness. And it's getting brighter as we speak. 
हम्म एक चरस Looking good. So far, so good. I just want to know why that、uh, air message is still coming up. Cause that looks really good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So there you have it, folks. If you do have a Epson projector and, or another projector, and you were thinking about replacing the lamp, and you, you get some anxiety about it, it works. I had a really good, successful install. However, it looks like that lamp. Look, see that? Let me turn it around. That's the lamp、uh, that you need to replace the lamp. I'm wondering why that is coming up. Also, the temperature warning is coming up with a new lamp. So that's kind of concerning. But I'm gonna go in the settings and see if I can fix that. You have to reset the lamp hours inside the menu settings. So if you go to reset. You can see over here it says reset lamp hours. You press that, and then it starts back at zero, and then it will tally how many hours the lamp life is or the lamp's been on to give you that indication of what the lamp life is. So、uh, I press that, and everything is good to go. But just by looking at this from the before and after, this is a big difference in terms of the color. And this is daytime, like this is full on daytime. Let's just see what happens at night. Uh, I might have to watch a movie tonight to、uh, to do the proper research, but、uh, I'm very happy that it was a successful install. I just got to get rid of that error message, and everything should be good to go. All right, my friends, is a successful DIY install. Usually doesn't go that smooth, but I'm very happy it did. Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from Handy Andy Media. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know your issues about Epson projectors or projectors and bulbs. I'm very interested to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. Talk to you again. Bye for now.